The Malaysian Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa is set to issue a statement with regards to the pending payment of maize farmers, which is a whooping 3.5 billion shillings. Let's cross over live to Treasury Building here in Nairobi and listen in. And we did embark on a verification exercise beginning uh, uh, on the 20th of August when we issued our statement here. And we have been able to get teams to all the 24 uh, depots, NCPB uh, depots, to carry out this verification, whether the, uh, the allegations were true or not, but also in the process to establish who are the genuine farmers who delivered their maize and also who are the traders who probably did not have farms but were able to purchase maize, whether locally or from neighboring countries, and deliver this maize to our cereals board. We are also uh, able to verify uh, as to some of the uh, people who are neither farmers nor traders, but were trying to reap where they did not sow. So we are happy today uh, to announce that that verification process has uh, been completed successfully. And uh, the report uh, we have compiled and uh, handed it over to the Ministry of uh, uh, Agriculture. And that report indeed reveals that uh, out of 11, 54 farmers who responded to our calls to pick up the forms, to fill up the forms, to attach the delivery notes to show what they delivered uh, to our depots, we had 11, 40 farmers who returned their forms uh, for verification. And we are happy that uh, that verification exercise has been completed. And out of all those farmers who picked their forms and returned them successfully, we have 900 farmers who have been cleared, who have gone through the vetting process, and who are now going to be paid. However, we are also uh, happy to announce that uh, there are some 226 uh, cases that have been recommended uh, for further investigations. And we do have, uh, as part of our team, the DCI, the ESCC team, that will be investigating uh, these 226 uh, uh, people or claims, and uh, with the possibility of uh, probably uh, preferring charges uh, if it is established that uh, there were not genuine farmers or there were some unscrupulous individuals who are trying to reap where they did not sow. We are also happy uh, to announce that uh, following the successful conclusion of uh, the verification exercise, we have uh, uh, released the funding now to the Ministry of Agriculture. This we were able to do last week. Immediately we completed the verification exercise. And as we speak, the entire 1.4 billion is now with the, our sister Ministry of Agriculture who are now uh, proceeding to commence our payments. We also uh, uh, wanted to make it clear that indeed, uh, as we had uh, announced earlier, these payments should have started last week. The farmers are, are up in arms as to why these delays have been there. But even after verification and after our ministry released the payment money to uh, agriculture, Still, the NCPB could not make the payments because the SFR, that is the board that actually uh, has the money, uh, had uh, a quorum hitch because the terms of uh, those who were members of the board had expired. This also caused some further delay in uh, terms of approvals and the necessary processing of payments for farmers. Uh, but we are very pleased this morning uh, to announce that uh, uh, the SFR board has uh, since been gazetted as of this morning uh, through Gazette uh, uh, Notice number 9930 uh, issued this morning. The board's term has been renewed, and uh, as we speak now, the board is proceeding to sit, and uh, together with the NCPB, from Monday, they will commence payment of, uh, of our farmers. My brother, C.S. Kiunjuri, would issue a further statement to the farmers uh, as they commence payments next week as to the details on how these payments will be made. Of course, the main objective of this exercise was to establish the genuine farmers. 
That is the Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Malo addressing the plight of farmers in the country in the wake of the maize crisis. So that live feed continues right here on KTN News. But at this point, let's release our viewers on KTN Home. Always a pleasure to have you tuned in. My name is Michelle Ngele Hoviambo. Out of the 900, we have 514 farmers uh, whom we owe 2 million shillings and below. And we want to say that starting with these farmers who are genuine farmers uh, who uh, in, uh, delivered individually, uh, we will give priority to these farmers so that we clear more than half of the 900 uh, priority will be given to these farmers, and that will only amount to about 466 million. That will clear most of the majority of the farmers that we owe, uh, and after which we we'll now uh, deal with the remaining uh, 386. So I want to uh, take this opportunity once more uh, to thank uh, uh, Kenyan farmers, and I am a farmer myself. It is regrettable that. Uh, the previous payments uh, uh, had raised the issues that caused this delay, issues that necessitated this uh, verification exercise to be carried out. Uh, the delay is regrettable, but uh, we wish to say that uh, we will be able to uh, ensure that everyone who delivered their maize is uh, eventually uh, paid in full. And I want to thank the Kenyan farmers for their patience and, uh, and understanding, and also to thank the different uh, uh, institutions that uh, worked with us to ensure this exercise is successfully completed, and in particular, the Ministry of Assistant Ministry of uh, Agriculture, Livestock, and Fisheries, the Ministry of Interior, and Coordination of National Government, who worked with us in uh, in the counties, and the chiefs in identifying and sensitizing our farmers to the importance of this exercise, the National Cereals and Produce Board that uh, has, uh, has opened up all the 24 depots across the country and allowed our teams to inspect and to verify the details and the records, as well as the maize uh, being held in the different depots, as well as silos. Well,